Hello, I'm Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support team with SDR Play. In this video, I will show you the basics of using SDR Uno and the new feature specific to SDR Uno version 1.40.1. I will visually navigate the spectrum and tune signals using my local medium wave broadcast stations and my local FM broadcast stations. These types of transmissions are very easy to pick up. The most simple antenna will do. The goal of this video is to bring brand new users up to speed using SDR Uno version 1.4. This video is not for advanced users or advanced SDR Uno operations. I recommend that advanced users visit the SDR Play apps catalog located on our website www.sdrplay.com. Our apps catalog showcases many specific SDR Uno videos and documentation. I will assume you have SDR Uno installed, launched and ready to go. But before I explain each panel, I like to explain the SDR Uno graphical user interface. The SDR Uno GUI uses a modular approach. What this means is that it allows you, the end user, to customize what panels are shown and where its location is on the screen. SDR Uno has 10 user-defined workspace save locations. Workspace 0, the default workspace, is a workspace that loads when you launch SDR Uno. You can recall any of the 10 user-defined workspaces on the fly by clicking on the workspace label shown in the main panel. When you launch SDR Uno, it will auto-populate its panels based on your computer's monitor resolution. You're more than welcome to remove or adjust these panels to your liking. Just remember to name and save your workspace. SDR Uno is as advanced or is as basic as you would like it to be. If you make a mistake, simply reset SDR Uno via the main panel. Uninstalling and reinstalling SDR Uno does not reset the software. Only resetting, either from SDR Uno itself or from the installation directory if the software won't start, will get you back to factory default settings. But please remember, Resetting SDR Uno will also erase any user saved workspaces. Now let's go over SDR Uno's panels. The main panel is the RSP control panel. It controls all of the functions of the RSP, from the input selection, to the notch filters, to the IF mode, to the sample rate and decimation, and the RF gain. It also starts and stops the stream. Think of that as your power on and power off button. The RX control is like a traditional radio. It gives you a frequency readout of where the RSP is currently tuned to. It gives you a mode selection here. Different preset filter widths, noise blanking, notch filtering, automatic gain controls, volume and squelch controls, and predefined uh, band buttons. The plug-in panel, which is brand new to SDR Uno version 1.4, will display whatever plugins you have installed uh, specific to SDR Uno. Right-clicking the plug-in panel will tell SDR Uno where these plugins reside. The AUX SP is for your filtering. So let's mute this, click play, and I can click and adjust the passband filtering. The recorder is a spectrum recorder. It will record everything based on the RSP sample rate. If you want to record audio, you would use the audio recorder plugin. The scanner will scan a predefined range or a memory bank. The memory panel displays all the users defined memory banks. I will load mine to show you as a demonstration. I right clicked the memory panel, selected, uh, I selected select bank folder, and I'm going to tell it where my SDR Uno bank files are. The main SP is the, the eyes of the spectrum. This is where you point and click on signals. Let's click play. 
and where you visually see what's happening within the spectrum. Now let's go over some of the new functions and features of SDR Uno version 1.4 and in the closing part of this video we're going to demonstrate basic uh, tuning operation. Some of the new features and functions for SDR Uno version 1.40.1 .1 are the plugin system, the SP1 panel now has support for ultra wide 4K displays with a resolution of 5120 by 2160. We've added a step lock button in the SP1 panel. We've added a squelch line in the SP1 display. We've added an auto start feature when SDR Uno loads. We've added phase and amplitude lock buttons in the diversity panel for the RSP Duo. We've also added the option for SDR Uno to launch with just an IQ WAV file. You no longer have to have an RSP device plugged into your system for SDR Uno to run. We've added two extra zoom levels for the SP2 panel. We've added an automatic LO system when in zero IF mode and the default is having it enabled. You can also enable or disable the automatic LO system along with an offset value in the main panel settings. We've enabled an IF AGC setting indicator on the main panel. It will only show if the IF AGC is disabled. Okay, let's tune some signals. We have three options that will allow us to tune signals within the spectrum using SDR Uno. We can bring our mouse into the RX control panel, hover over the frequency display, and adjust the frequency using our mouse wheel up and down. We can also hit the space bar within the RX control panel and directly key in a frequency. We can also use the band buttons. Let's go ahead and do all three. I'm going to select input C. I'm using an RSP DX for this video. I'm going to adjust my gain. And I know that the medium wave broadcast band starts at about five, uh, 530 kilohertz. Let's just put this in a unknown location and let's manually tune down to the medium wave band. Now, very important, the RX control panel's frequency readout is in hertz, kilohertz, megahertz, and gigahertz. So we're going to start at 530 kilohertz. We can zoom into the spectrum using the zoom buttons shown in the main SP. And we can see signals. I'm going to unmute and I'm going to adjust the aux SP, which is the passband filtering. And also very important that we select the proper mode. Medium wave broadcasts are transmitted in AM. Visit indeed.com slash credit. Crazy, I said to John, it's got to be her food. You know, what you put into a dog is what you get out. We heard this radio last week is look like. Yeah, it's at home. It's in Miami, right? Yes. This, uh, uh, it's Rams at home. People is a bit jarring, even if they're excited. They're okay, let's find the transmission and we'll do direct entry. There's a transmission here at 640. I didn't click it. I'm going to click the RX control panel, hit the space bar, key in 640, and hit enter. And now we're tuned to it. I can also use the band buttons, as I uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, to put me in a specific band automatically. So let's uh, zoom out. Let's tune a bit higher. Oh, much higher than the medium wave band. And let's use the band buttons. 
So we will select broadcast and medium wave. Please remember that if you do use the band buttons to unframe the band by making sure that this green indicator is not illuminated. Okay, let's tune some FM broadcast transmissions. Remember, the RX control frequency readout is in hertz, kilohertz, megahertz, and gigahertz. So we will tune up manually using the RX control panel's frequency readout, and I'll put us at 88 megahertz. That's roughly good enough. Let's select the mode, which is FM, the FM submode, which is stereo wide FM with a bandwidth of 192K. I'm going to unmute the audio and we're going to tune uh, as much as the FM broadcast band as we can without getting a copyright flag from YouTube. I not learn anything. Okay, we use the frequency readout of the RX control panel, but we can also directly key in a frequency by using the direct frequency option within STR Uno. Make sure the RX control panel is selected, hit your spacebar, and key in a frequency manually, followed by the M key for megahertz. So there's a transmission here at 95.5. I'm tuned to 94.7, so I'm going to manually key in 95.5. 95.5 and hit M for megahertz. And we are now tuned to it. I can still zoom in and out of the spectrum or continue to navigate the spectrum using my mouse wheel up and down. I hope you found this video useful and helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. 73.